Hey y'all. Y'all good? Listen, I was just trying to see if y'all was going to participate in the corporate fast that Mel is having. You know it's from 12 to 12. And she said that she's not... I think she said she's not eating. So she's just going to have water. Because in her post she said, fast to fast starts midnight tonight. Do as your spirit leads you. She said, but for her she's going to drink water when fasting. She also said, remember to pray for one another during this fast. Pray for peace, deliverance, financial abundance, clarity, and the removal of all evil spirits. Remember to join in at 12 noon for prayer. Okay? Because you have a prayer call and it's on that post that she made and it has the conference call number and the access number and that's at 12 noon central standard time okay when you go into this fast make sure you go into this fast in praise and worship okay go in there and be specific with your prayers when you're asking for a blessing please understand that that is not something that you can do yourself when you're asking for a blessing a blessing is a supernatural favor that's what you're asking for because if it was something that you could do yourself go ahead and do it you are trying to be blessed and blessed exceedingly and abundantly and when you're praying make sure that your prayers are specific if you want to play, pray the prayer of Jabez you got to understand in that first verse when he said oh that you will bless me indeed he left that blessing up to God he left it up to God to bless him however he saw fit and he continued on with and enlarged my territory that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil in that second verse when he says and enlarge my territory he already knew that he was born for more so that's what he's going to do. He's going to ask for more. But he, he is also asking the Lord to keep his hands on him and keep him from evil. He wants to be protected while he's praying, praying and asking God for more. You also have to remember you need your praise and worship music. Because you know praise and worship push you into the presence of God. It brings God into your presence. It brings God into your inhabitants. That's where you need to be. That praise and worship is going to be what shakes the heavens. You know what I'm saying? And you also have to make sure that you ask. His word alone says you have not because you ask not. You can't be moving through life feeling like you don't deserve the Lord's blessings. You too scared to ask. No. Have you never heard the story of the man who had he could ask for anything? He only asked for one thing. He made it to heaven. He got the tour and he wanted to know what is this room right here that you're not taking me in? And so Peter was like, oh, I don't think you want to see that. But the man was so excited that he went over there anyway. And he was Peter was just shaking his head like, OK, here we go. So he go in the room and when he opened the door, it's just like rows and rows of boxes and he was like what what's in those boxes and he was like oh don't worry about it come on so the man took off because his last name ended with jay so he took off over there found his box and when he opened the box it was full of blessings the blessings that the lord was waiting to give to him that he didn't even ask for so make sure that you go into this fast asking for the blessings that you know that you're needing in your life right now that you can't do on your own and speak his word back to him. The Lord himself said in Isaiah 43, 26 to bring to his remembrance. He wants you to remind him of the promises that he told you that he would give you. And when you speak back God's promises to him, you know that the angels only move at the word of God. But what you cannot do is cancel or void out what you just prayed for. That's just like if you had an interview and you said, Lord, you know that I had this interview. I had my second interview about two days ago. I really want this job, Father God. And I know that your word says I have not because I ask not. And I am asking you to bless me with this job according to your will, your will, your way, Father God. That is what I'm asking for. Then. Three days later, if you ain't heard nothing, you can't say, oh, my, I remember this girl. She went before me and I worked with her before. She got so much experience. I don't even think I can get it. right there. You can just mess up. The Lord has already dispatched the angel to come your way. But what did you do? You done stopped in it. The Lord, like, uh -uh, come on back. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Let, let, let her try it again. 
You cannot do that, okay? And during this fast, make sure you have your journal. Get you a pen and paper. Because when you fast, it heightens your sense of hearing and your vision. There will be things coming to you that you probably been waiting on this answer forever. And it may just come during this fast. Write down the things you see. Write down the things you hear. Write down the new ideas that come to you. Write the vision. Make it plain. That's what you need to be doing. And when you're praying over yourself, make sure you're speaking the word over your life. So let's say, for instance, you wanted to tomorrow, you want to pray um, Psalms 91. We'll go with that. So you want to pray Psalms 91 over your life. And when you pray Psalms 91, it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That second verse telling you what you're supposed to do. It says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. That third verse, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Mm -mm. We want you to take that you out. It should be me, I, he, she, her, him. Change it because what are you doing? You're speaking it over your life. If you were speaking Psalms 91 over somebody else's life, let's say it's your child. Your child name is Joshua. You would say, surely he shall deliver Joshua from the snare of the fowler. So since you're praying it over yourself, you will be saying, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings I shall take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, my dwelling place. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. I shall trample underfoot. In verse 14, this is the Lord speaking to you. So you need to put your name in there. If your name is Chantel, you need to be saying, Because Chantel has set her love upon me, therefore I will deliver her. I will set Chantel on high because she has known my name. Chantel shall call upon me and I will answer her. I will be with Chantel in trouble. I will deliver Chantel and honor her. With long life, I will satisfy Chantel and show her my salvation. That's how you need to be speaking that word over your life. And make sure that you try to read whatever verses. Let's say tomorrow you, you want to learn three new verses. And you're t uh, you want to pray something about... You need a breakthrough or you need something in your finances. You need healing within your family. You're going to try to find three verses that speak to those specific things. And you're going to speak them over your life. But try to read that verse in at least one or two. And no, in at least two or three different versions until you read one that really touch you like you're going to be able to feel it like okay yeah this one is really speaking to me whether it's how you're the type of church you went to your upbringing or whatever you're going to be able to feel it like okay yeah this the one for me because when i read psalms 91 in the message it goes like you who sit down in the high god's presence spend the night in shaddai's shadow say this god you're my refuge I trust in you and I'm safe. That's right. He rescues me from hidden traps. Shields me from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect me. Under them, I'm perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing. 
not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at noon. Even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left, no harm will even graze me. I'll stand untouched, watch it all from a distance, watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, because God's my refuge, the high God, my very own home. Evil can't get close to me. Harm can't get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard me wherever I go. If I stumble, they'll catch me. Their job is to keep me from falling. I'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. And then the Lord will say to me in 14 through 16, if you'll hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care. If you'll only get to know and trust me, call me and I'll answer be at your side at bad times. I'll rescue you. Then throw you a party. I'll give you a long life. Give you a long drink of salvation. That's what you need to do. Find at least three verses that you want to learn. Say them throughout the, throughout the day. Even if you got to put them on a, a timer. Like if you have to put notifications in your phone, alarms to of those verses that you want to learn. When you're saying them, speak them over your life. Write them down because we're writing the vision and making it plain. Okay, this I feel like tomorrow is going to be such a good day. I can't wait to hear all the testimonies that Mel is going to receive about this fast. And if you just go in there, go into it positive, go into it with great expectations, go into it with love and try not to gossip, like try not to gossip during that time. Try not to be, you know, have any negativity around you. Just if it try to come your way, just rebuke it. OK, so I can't wait to hear what y'all have to say about this fast and what you experience. And I'll talk to y'all later.